Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of R3 Stem Cell. Today's topic is stem cell therapy for knee meniscal tears. Meniscal injuries of the knee are very common among patients of all ages, oftentimes due to sports injuries, weekend warrior activities, or maybe just part and parcel of uh, aging, and the damage can lead to eventual painful osteoarthritis. Traditional treatments of meniscal injuries include physical therapy, anti-inflammatories, uh, maybe some narcotic medication short term, possibly a steroid injection for pain relief. And if all else fails, a knee arthroscopy where the meniscus can be shaved. And studies have shown that shaving the meniscus increases the risk of osteoarthritis 10 to 20 times. Um, and then possibly meniscal repair if the tear is in, the, uh, in a vascular zone where there's a blood supply. And then possibly a meniscal replacement. So stem cell therapy for these injuries is now a reality. It's being performed in humans regularly. There's no more Band-Aid treatments when it comes to stem cell therapy because what you get is oftentimes repair and regeneration, which leads to long-term relief. So how does the FDA view these treatments? Well, they allow what's called minimal manipulation of stem cell treatments. That's okay in the United States. It's a same setting procedure. Um, the practice is not allowed to culture the material to expand the cell counts that they deem that turning it into a drug and there's also certain enzymes and additives that are not allowed to be added maximal manipulation is what is done in mexico cayman islands outside the u.s and that is where you turn the biologic into a drug by culturing the um, material whether it's your own or, or uh, allograft um, all right so Initial study uh, looked at, in 2014, looked at normal knees versus knees that have been injured with the meniscal injury, and they showed that mesenchymal stem cells do exist in the synovial fluid in increased numbers. So we now know that when there's a meniscal injury, stem cells do come into the knee in higher numbers to try and fix it. In the lab, uh, there's been studies showing that a stem cell collagen scaffold implant does work in the lab to treat white zone meniscal cartilage tears, meaning it's in a zone that has no blood supply. There have been several animal studies in mice and rabbits that have shown significant meniscal regeneration. And now we have a vast amount of in vivo research on the use of different types of multipotent mesenchymal stem cells in various experimental settings, whether it's um, in humans or in animals with good results. So here's a study at a biomedical research looking at regenerative repair of damaged meniscus with autologous adipose tissue derived stem cells. And it was basically one patient and they showed a case of a successful repair of a torn meniscus with reduction of knee pain with one injection of autologous adipose stem cells into the knee. Now here's a large JBJS study. It was double blinded. It was randomized. It looked at 55 patients with a single intraarticular injection uh, compared against that of a vehicle control. The vehicle actually was hyaluronic acid uh, after a partial meniscectomy surgery. So basically what it was was patients who had a, a meniscal tear, they went in, they had a shaving done, and then they had afterwards an injection of a single, uh, a single injection of stem cells, and there was evidence of meniscus regeneration and improvement in knee pain following this treatment. Now, there has been studies looking at uh, the augmentation of surgical repair. So repair means you don't do any shaving. You actually uh, do something to put the tear back together. It might be something called an arrow or a suture. Um, and in this study, out of stem cells and translational medicine, they looked at five patients. Three out of five of them were pain-free after two years. And they concluded that undifferentiated mesenchymal stem cells could provide a safe way to augment a meniscal repair that's done in the zone that has no blood supply. Now, our philosophy on this is that when you look at plastic surgery, plastic surgery used to be 90% surgical. Now it's the other way, it's 90% non-surgical due to all of the fillers, the Botox, and the other new products that are available to get the same results as if you went through surgery without all the risks. We look at orthopedic medicine, such as meniscal injuries, the same way. As these studies continue to come out for the knee and other conditions, the same trend is happening and will continue to happen more and more in orthopedics. The conclusion is that stem cell therapy for knee meniscal tears 
has been definitively shown to work well in the lab and several animal species. Multiple studies show that it now works well in humans as either an alternative to surgery or as an adjunct to help augment surgical outcomes. Our three stem cell centers of excellence, we truly want to make a difference in patients' lives by helping them avoid surgery and remain as active as desired at whatever level is desired. Our affiliated centers of excellence are located nationwide and offer first-rate regenerative treatments. Visit us today at r3stemcell.com or simply give us a call at 844-GET-STEM. Thank you for watching.